Imagine, uh, which is our, our theme, and it's actually the work of many, many people um, that uh, contribute to the conference. Uh, we um, get about 5,000 people that come to the conference each year. Um, they, they come for our um, almost 100 professional development sessions about the arts. They come for um, a huge exhibit hall that has over um, uh, 400 uh, exhibitors. We have about a thousand showcases here in the hotel as well as all over Manhattan. I've been associated with APAP for many years. I started coming here in the 90s, so I've been um, a, a participant for over 20 years. Uh, I was on the board of APAP uh, in the early 2000s, and then um, when I was at the National Endowment for the Arts as the director of presenting, um, the organization would apply to my area for support. The organization is critically important in this country in that it is the largest service, trade, and advocacy organization for the performing arts presenters. Performing arts presenters, I feel, um, uh, include the critical components that bring all of the artists of uh, all disciplines to communities across this country. So um, I, I've always had a strong focus on the organization. When I took over the organization, it was in transition. Uh, so what I've spent the last year doing is um, uh, learning uh, every aspect of the organization, um, analyzing why we do everything, how we can do it better, and basically stabilizing the organization so that we can move forward in a much stronger And now I'm planning with my board and our advisors and our community here as far as how the, the future is going to look. An organization that uh, has a long, long history, so it has gone through many iterations and um, uh, I think that the I think what's key for an organization like this is to look at the current landscape. I can't look back. Um, my predecessors were dealing with challenges um, that are different than, than what we deal with. They were dealing with different landscapes. And so I think it's critical to um, work with my board and the membership to determine the best way to um, navigate uh, the changing landscape of the arts in this country, but also be a guide to those organizations as far as uh, making sure that their work is successful. I think that imagination is the key that allows us to deal with the futures which are coming. Uh, you know uh, as well as I that I can't tell you what new technology, what new discovery will be occurring even this year. Uh, it's coming so fast and quick. So I think that um, one of the beauties of our term imagination, and especially in the arts, is that it allows us, it allows all of us to, to, uh, to exist and thrive in these, these waves of the future that are coming. I insisted with my mom, who was a major sports fanatic, that I was leaving the, my position as a string center on the Green Hornets uh, when I was about 10 years old and said I wanted to go take acting lessons. Well, we marched into the studio of this wonderful woman named Patsy Swayze, who was the mother of Patrick Swayze in Houston, Texas. And uh, she said they didn't have acting lessons at that point, but if I wanted to go into the arts, I needed to learn dance. Well, eight or nine years later, I was still in dance. I loved it. I was part of her um, training uh, company uh, called the Houston Jazz Ballet Company, and I learned so much from that. She's one of the first great teachers that I had that instilled in me the respect for being on stage, and so I've, I've tried to carry those lessons forward in all of my jobs. Are there any young people listening? I was one of these individuals that did not have a plan, did not have a path. Uh, I grew up in a big family. My brother, who's a very successful uh, physician, had a plan from age five of what he was gonna do. I was just the opposite. Um, I followed many routes uh, through business and through the arts throughout my entire life, and it actually converged unbeknownst to my planning uh, in arts administration, and that was um, by life, by coincidence, by happy, but the message that I tell young people is, I am a full believer in exploring all paths. Learn as much as you can, fail as much as you can, and hopefully one day it will lead you to that uh, wonderful career path that you can bring all that knowledge and experience uh, to others.